WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavino for TFNN. Remember, folks, tomorrow is the 3rd of July, the day before the holiday. The odds of the stock market closing higher on that day is about 75%, and that goes well over 200 years of data. So you want to be close attention to that. And also, if the market should close lower on the day before the holiday, then that is a sign that that cycle has ended, and it most probably will see Friday as a down day. But remember, folks, we're going to have a half a, well, a little more than a half a day on the 3rd. It closes at 2 p.m., two hours early, and then the same thing on Friday. It closes two hours early. And believe me, it is a very lightly traded day on Friday. All the people, the New York Stock Exchange people, they're either in Montauk or someplace uh, out in the Hamptons, uh, you know, doing their thing with the with the rich and famous, but uh, that's going to be a low, low day. But that doesn't mean there can't be volatility. We've had some tremendous volatility. I'm showing today the NASDAQ over the last several days. It's a 13-minute chart. And as you can see, we've had a very nice ABCD pattern completing here this morning. You can see there's your opening, uh, opening area right in here. It's when the market opened. And, of course, it exploded to the upside because the Federal Reserve was in there talking today. Now, since that time, you see we had that really strong rally. All the market's been able to do is to make a 38% retracement of that move. You can see there it is. It stopped right on the exact 382 at 2063, and we've rallied another 60 handles. This tells us that we are going up to this level right here with the high probability because there's your drive one, there's your drive two, and this would be drive three. If we do put that in, you'll be able to see it, and we'll take a look at that because we're going to show you another one exactly like this, which was, happens to be our trade of the day today. It wasn't in that, but watch this at 2170, 20,000, 20, 20, well, I can't believe I'm saying 20,000, 20,177 in the NASDAQ. That should be the high, and it's at the 78% level of the high we made back here several days ago. So that's what we're watching, but this is the pattern that I want to be talking about here in the next few minutes. So stay with us. We'll be right back, boys and girls.